so friends this circuit i designed for 5 volt 2 ampere circuit this transformer this ic it can drive up to 8.5 ampere but that time the voltage will go very low according to the components according to the circuit configuration it will drive safely 20 to 30 percent pulse width modulation it will drive a load safely at 5.12 volt if you want to increase the volt you can take current up to 4 ampere normally but at that time we have to increase the heat sink size let's see the circuit i connected ac voltage here 235 volt here i connected mov after that we have rlc tuned network to protect from electromagnetic induction emi filter to remove the noise to remove the high frequency and this circuit can work up to from 85 volt to 265 volt safely here one mega ohm resistor 0.1 microfarad 275 volt box capacitor and then 40 milliampere coil dual line filter and i connected in this video i connected fr107 1 ampere so i connected fr107 this bridge rectifier two diodes anode common two anodes are common two cathode are common to negative terminal and in the center points common points i applied 235 volt here 235 volt so this 235 volt rectified at this capacitor so this capacitor after that i took the rectified voltage from 480k resistor this voltage for soft start this resistor initially it will apply voltage to this capacitor and this capacitor will apply voltage to pin number 3 of this IC what is the voltage level DC voltage and these voltage are very important for switching it is 9.78 volts so 9.78 volt I applied to pin number 3 of this IC this is 5M0265R 5M0265IC this IC just only takes ground line and one line to drive the PFC transformer and the positive voltage are connected to pin 1 of the transformer I will remove the components and I will show the diagram completely and the, at final end I am taking 5.12 volt 5.12 volt at this capacitor so here we have optocoupler optocoupler pin 1 and 2 must have 1 volt if we take this 1 volt that means our feedback circuit is working properly here I take 5 volt 5.11 volt this 3 digit this 4 digit so in this area I am taking 1 volt and the output end it is 0.35 volts this is the forward junction drop voltage of a optocoupler this I see it need 0.35 volt the low voltage level here we have optocoupler when this light will appear at the base of this transistor this optocoupler will conduct and it will apply a forward voltage to pin number 4 so pin number 4 of this IC should have 0.35 volt for functioning it is enable we can say it is feedback when this this IC will start switching from pin number 2 here we have this IC it is from inside secondary primary secondary 
and then we have a feedback winding VCC winding when it will start it will start switching in the secondary same time it will induce voltage in the auxiliary winding so it will rectify and it will apply to this IC as a VCC voltage the same time we have feedback circuit that is optocoupler it will give a signal now it is a very key point this IC started this pulse and it is increasing until it will keep increasing until it receives a valid VCC voltage and it receives a voltage from the optocoupler what is that that is an activation signal to this base 1.1 volt 1.0 volt applied to this pin will activate and it will cause to conduct this transistor otherwise when this transistor is off it will take 10k resistor to the feedback pin so it need for proper functioning to adjust its pulse width it take it needs a valid feedback circuit signal from the optocoupler so here if you want to check if there is a switching or no set multimeter to volt AC connect one pin to positive voltage side and second pin to pin number two this time it is making 13 volt AC 13 volt AC switching is there 13 volt switching and you can check frequency here after that now I will remove the signal, uh, remove the circuit. So now I shifted the project here, it is here now on this board, and now we have a diagram here. If we see 225 volt from fuse from this MOV a resistor capacitor. 40 millihenry coil we have four diodes FR107 bridge rectifier and here is 22 microfarad 400 volt capacitor for VCC this is positive side this is negative size so this negative is connected to this VCC capacitor VCC capacitor is connected to 1 2 3 and this 3 and number four number one pin is ground number two is drive here is IC 5M0265 FR107 diode we will find 330 plus voltage here these voltage will connect it to the VCC capacitor for around 480k resistor to charge this capacitor ground line is connected here so ground line is connected here power ground and signal ground to pin number one of this IC so it will start switching the positive VCC side is connected to this transformer I will share the calculations of this transformer how you can make transformer your, at your own this IC will start switching when first pulse will start it will cause, cause to generate magnetic field here this magnetic field will cause to induce voltage in secondary at the same time we will t get voltage from auxiliary winding this voltage will be rectified from FR104 resistor and 39 ohm resistor diode and resistor this will apply to this capacitor it will apply to VCC in the initial starting it will take this voltage and this IC will start in soft start mode after that it will take a feedback voltage VCC voltage from this set and capacitor will maintain the charge about 9 volt this IC will keep working 
this diode resistor capacitor 56k resistor 10 nano capacitor FR10 1 ampere 700 volt diode it will connect it in reverse direction when the pulse will go in off state it will damp the collapsing magnetic field voltage when the magnetic field will collapse in the off period it will generate a reverse polarity voltage and the reverse polarity voltage will ground it through this and it will cause to flow electrical current in the secondary we have this diode this rectifier is used one capacitor 1000 microfarad 110 volt inductor capacitor resistor load resistor 150 ohm then we take this voltage to this feedback point feedback circuit this feedback circuit it is connected through two resistor 2k 2k to apply a reference voltage at pin number one of TL431 pin number two is connected to ground and one capacitor 220 nano from pin number three to ground to remove the false starting pulses so pin number three will take will, will apply 1.3 volt in output as a reference voltage so this reference voltage will cause to drop voltage up approximately 1 volt and the remaining 0.3 volt will drop down this current limiting resistor so this optocoupler will conduct and we will get feedback voltage 0.3 volt at pin number 4 so this is our circuit this is our closed loop circuit In the output we will take 5.11 volt this is our total circuit and I have another question from one of my friends to discuss this feedback circuit in the upcoming videos we will discuss this circuit separately how the optocoupler is working and how this circuit is designed I hope so this video is good for you if good it is good thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh